morning from Montreal. Jean-Serge Gagnon. So do you sometimes wonder, you know, if you should be posting about, you know, bad stuff that happens in your life? You know, is negativity good? Can it be good to post on social media? And I'm here to tell you that I'm going to answer that in a second. But first, let me just show you a little bit about what's going on over here in Montreal. Look at that. We got some pretty nasty snow going on, some rain. Whoops, sorry, I'm not used to this. But, you know, it's windy it's cold the snow's back and it is not feeling oh good i'm not feeling oh my god i want to go walk out there it's still not spring i'm looking forward to spring so when is spring coming right when is spring coming anyway so is negativity good can you post about your negative stuff that's going on in your life and you know i'm going to tell you right away yes you can you can do that the thing is that it's important to have a balance. You know, I see on my newsfeed, I see, you know, all sorts of negative stuff going on. You know, I don't know, people people dying, right? You know, people posting about their loved ones that have passed away or, you know, people, you know, having to let go of their pets or, or people having accidents, you know, being in the hospital, people, you know, getting divorces, getting, getting you know, getting separated, you know, Everything. There's all sorts of negative stuff that's going on. People getting bullied, right? I mean, these things happen. Be, you know, having haters, all those things, they all happen. And, you know, you certainly can post about them and you should, you know, post about them. And one of the things you have to remember, though, is that in your social media world, depending on what kind of business you're trying to build, depending on what level you're at, what you're trying to accomplish, there's certain levels of negativity that you might want to avoid. But at the same time, it's all about balance, right? Balance is key. It's key to everything. So you're going to be balancing how much negativity versus how much positivity, right? So, I mean, if you're posting all the time about positive stuff, about great things that are happening, about, you know, how the world is, how awesome the world is, all the positivity about that, then you certainly can, you know, once in a while post something that's negative. <laughs> but you got to be careful. If you're posting negative stuff too much, you're going to attract people who are negative in life, right? And you don't want people that are negative in life, right? You don't want that. You don't want that to be your your typical, you know, uh, avatar, right? You don't want to be the typical person that's following you, right? You want positive people to be following you. You want people that, you know, see things, you know, see the silver lining in everything, in every cloud. You know, that's that's the kind of person you want, right? So you you, you got to realize that if you post a lot of negative stuff that's going on, you know, you might have lots of negative stuff that's going on. I'm not saying that you're lying. You're just omitting those things, right? And you'll find it's, you know, the law of attraction is all about that, right? The more we focus on the negative, the more negative we get, right? And one of the things I've been recently realizing is that it's all about the energy you give to certain things that happen in your life. Like, for example... We're typically, and, and I certainly am like that, we're typically, um, you know, geared or we're, we're going to react more to something that happens when we don't like it, right? Like, say, for example, I don't know, uh, what I, I can't even think of an idea but uh, of a thing that happened, but there's things that happen all the time, right? And, oh, say I drop something. I that's That annoys me, okay, dropping something because, you know, you got to take time to to pick it up again and you got to do whatever so I will have this like reaction of oh, you know crap or damn it or whatever right I'm, I'm upset I give it energy I give that negative action that negative thing that happens some energy and that makes that the action that happens more often so it's not easy to give less energy to the bad things and then try to give more energy to the good things that happen right like you know what am i going to spend a day and you know if i don't drop anything a whole day am i going to be like oh my god this is so awesome i had a great day i didn't drop anything whatever you know is that what's what you got to do to bring the positive stuff maybe i don't know i'm not an expert on the on these kinds of things but i i kind of realized myself you know a couple days ago that I am giving energy to the bad things, the things I don't like, right? So that's the thing. By posting about these bad things on social media, you're giving it energy as well, right? So you got to remember that. you got to try to say, do you, I really need to post about this bad thing that happened on my social media? Or can I maybe just, 
tell my close friends and family about it for for support or something because I know sometimes we post on social media something that's negative some, something that hurt us something that is is bad in our life because we are looking for support right and when we have a big audience on social media it feels like oh my god there's all these people that are going to be supportive of us and whatever and you know they are that's the thing you're going to have lots of people that <clears throat> will be supportive but don't forget about all the other ones that see it and think, oh, I don't want to be associated with that person. That person's posting negative stuff. Because you've got to remember, social media, especially Facebook, will share your stuff if you get lots of reactions. So say, for example, you're posting about a loved one that passed away, right? Well, that's going to get a lot of attention. It's normal. We all are all attracted by negativity, right? So that post is going to be seen by lots of your friends that aren't really active because Facebook knows that it's you know of interest so there's been uh, you know interactions with it right so that's that explodes that negativity so you got to be careful of that so that's what I mean I'm not saying you shouldn't I'm just saying just keep that in mind just be careful don't post it too much and even if you think that you're not posting too much remember that Facebook sends out your negative stuff to 10 times more people than your positive stuff just because that's how it works that's how you know human mind works that Facebook works the same way they know that people are attracted to, to negative things so they'll share that more than your positive stuff so just keep that in mind all right so hope you enjoyed this video and you see if you think anybody needs to hear this message and go ahead and share don't forget enable notifications so you don't miss out on my next lives and if you're watching on YouTube subscribe to the channel and we'll see you <coughs> on the inside oh I forgot Make sure you go to masterofsimple.com. That's right, masterofsimple.com. Put in your name and email, get that free ebook, and get on my list. So we'll see you on the inside. And here, let me just show you a little bit more of what's going on outside in this crazy world. I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, I can. That's awesome. I didn't know I could zoom in on this. You see, there's a wind. I don't know if you can tell. It's pretty crazy there was a couple of spritz of wind here and there but uh, we're not getting any wind right now not much anyways see the trees are moving a little bit and it's actually not that cold but I'm sure it's cold enough so yeah so that's it all right so you have yourself a great day we'll talk again tomorrow